I'm with Martin Lenz Fitzgerald, who is the co-founder of uh, Layer, which is what? Layer is a content or an augmented reality platform where we have augmented content. Okay, show us, show us what is we augmented have a content. Browser here, we see, for instance, tweets around where so, people twittered here on location uh, around us, which is actually very interesting because in uh, China, Twitter is closed off the website. So what are we doing? We're looking at the location. How how far away were they when they twittered? Uh, actually, I'm going to turn at them because we see a little bit more information. So five hours ago, 94 meters uh, uh, away from here, somebody looks like from a Spanish country tweeted something in Spanish, I can't okay. read that, and uh, here is somebody else who again, oh no, day two, getting registration done, by Sachin Gurgel, also somebody from Twitter, okay. and we have currently, globally, we have... And so it looks like they're a picture on the wall here. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. These are their, their avatars, or pictures from Twitter that uh, is used, and underneath you see the message they okay, tweeted. Okay, wh what is the purpose of that? Why should I care? Uh, this gives you a sense of what's going on around you. I mean, if you're a concert and people are tweeting, which in the West uh, especially people do, you can see who tweeted what, what the, the sentiment is, and therefore you get an idea of, yeah, what's going on around you. What would be some other applications? Uh, uh, what we have, for instance, it's very uh, uh, yeah, publicized a lot about is the Great Wall, or sorry, not the Great Wall, <laughs> the Berlin Wall in Berlin, where, which is actually gone, but if you use the layer to look at that, you can actually see it back in place, and you can see how big it was, and you can get an insight of, of how it was back then, and, and that also, I think, is really where augmented reality comes into its own, and where you can learn something with this new medium. Okay, so it can bring you back in time to it. Exactly. And apart from that, of course, here are the information services. One of the popular uh, layers here in China is Anjuke, which is uh, houses for sale. So that's what we call an information service layer. So I'd, I'd look, what I'd do is I'd be looking with my camera up on the yeah. wall, and I'd see, oh, that house is for sale, that apartment's exactly. for sale, exactly. and how much it sold yeah. for, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And so if you compare it to the web, it's like the text web, where, where that's what we pe see where people start in augmented reality. Basic information, where is this? Give me more information about this. This. The Wikipedia, I mean, most articles now have uh, a lat long with it, so you can also provide that information locally where it is relevant. And what we have is we have a browser which people can download. We currently already have one million active users on the platform. And then it is a platform, meaning that on the other side, brands, companies can use us to build their augmented reality experience. So what's the, what's the business model? Uh, we is don't have one yet, as in uh, uh, we, we... Who are your investors? <laughs> do they, do they <laughs> know have this very yet? very nice investors. <laughs> uh, in Holland, it's Prime Technology Ventures, and also in Denmark, we have Sunstone, uh, uh, who helps us, yeah, who help us uh, uh, yeah, find this market and grow this market. We really, we really believe it's, it's a mass medium that's emerging where there's lots of opportunities that we've seen on the web, which now, again, can happen, but in a new space. And yeah, this is, I think, uh, the opportunity so for what, you mean For an advertiser or a brand, what would be the model? Uh, they can make experiences which are context relevant. So you can make, very simple, you can make a game and, and you can grab the Pepsi bottles while running in, in the, on the sidewalk here outside. And then the amount of Pepsi bottles will probably give you a discount if you use it uh, in the supermarket. So therefore, you have deep interaction with whatever product you want to do, and you can, yeah, therefore use it in a campaign or whatever. So it becomes sort of a location-based treasure hunt. Location, I like it context because it's also mood based. That's what you can do if you build up the profile, if you know who's doing it, if you know when they're doing it, and that is also what you can use in this experience. Okay, how many uh, different applications or layers, I guess, we have you built? We currently have 1,200. Uh, there are 4,000, five, sorry, 5,000 developers, meaning brands, agencies, individuals making layers, and it's growing exponentially very quickly. Okay, excellent. Thank cool. you very much.